my students hello meet you level how are you today nice to meet you again today we are going to learn chapter 5 about naming positions naming positions dalam bahasa Indonesia menyebutkan posisi atau letak suatu benda atau seseorang ya anak-anak teacher ataupun letak sesuatu Okay, before we start our study today, let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we say thank you for your blessing today. Now, we want to study maths. Please bless and guide us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray to you. Amen. Okay, my students, uh, to learn about naming positions, there are some keywords. Ada beberapa kata kunci. The first, yang pertama, before. In bahasa, sebelum. After. In bahasa, dalam bahasa Indonesia, setelah. Between. Dalam bahasa, di antara. Last. Dalam bahasa Indonesia, terakhir. Oke, okay, let's study together, my students. Who's the winner? What do you think, my students, from the slide? Who's the winner? Can you tell the position of its runner? Oke, okay, from the picture, we can see this is the finish line so the winner adalah pelari yang paling dekat nearest to the finish line oke okay? nearest to finish line yang paling dekat ke garis finish that's the winner oke okay, my students so the winner is John, kita bisa lihat ya Juaranya itu sudah pasti yang paling dekat dengan garis finish And then Siapa lagi anak teacher? Yang kedua Mary And then David Oke, okay. we can tell the position with the ordinal numbers Do you know what is ordinal numbers? Today we are going to learn ordinal numbers from first to ten. Ordinal number refers to a number indicating the position in a series. Or we can say that ordinal numbers are used to describe position. Di pembelajaran sebelumnya, Anak-anak teacher sudah belajar counting to ten Start from one to ten Kamu sudah belajar one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten That's cardinal numbers Itu adalah cardinal numbers ya anak-anak teacher Cardinal numbers are used to describe quantity Menyatakan jumlah atau banyak But today we are going to learn about ordinal number. Ordinal number are used to describe positions. Example. The boy with orange bag is in the first position. The boy with a blue bag is in the second position. Position. The girl with a green bag is in the third position. The girl with a red bag is in the fourth position. The girl with a blue bag is in the fifth position. The boy with a green bag is in the sixth position. The girl with a pink bag 
is in the seventh position. The girl with a yellow bag is in the eighth position. The boy with a red bag is in the ninth position. The girl with a green bag is in the tenth position. Okay, my students, do you understand about ordinal numbers? Good job. Now, let's see together. Repeat after the teacher, okay? First, in bahasa pertama. Second, in bahasa kedua. Third, dalam bahasa Indonesia, ketiga. Fourth. Keempat Fifth Dalam bahasa Indonesia Kelima Sixth In bahasa Keenam Seventh In bahasa Ketujuh And then Eighth In bahasa Kedelapan Ninth In bahasa Kesembilan And then tenth dalam bahasa Indonesia ke sepuluh. Okay, this is the ordinal words and numbers. This is ordinal words and this is ordinal numbers. Okay, anak-anak teacher Eva, to write ordinal numbers for first, second, and third, kamu gunakan st for first and then nd for second and then rd for third for fourth yang keempat sampai dengan ke sepuluh kamu tambahkan th kamu tambahkan huruf t dan h for the ordinal numbers untuk penulisan ordinal numbersnya ya anak-anak teacher. Okay, now let's practice together. Okay, look at the picture. This is the stop line. Okay. May you help me to find the second position? Haha, who is that? Who is in second position? Yes, that's right. Liz is after Kate. Okay. Liz is after Kate. Kate is in the first position. So, the second position is Liz. Ingat, after dalam bahasa adalah setelah. Liz is after Kate. Liz is before Mr. Boris. Look at the picture. Liz sebelum Mr. Boris. Next. Liz is between di antara Kate and Mr. Boris. This is Liz. Liz is between Kate and Mr. Bones. And then Janet is the last. Do you understand my students? Good job. So, may you help me to find who is in the first position? Yes, that's right. Kate. Tadi teacher Eva sudah uh, bantu menjelaskan ya. Now, the other question. Okay, look at the position. This is the first, second, third, fourth, blank, 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 six, seven, eight, ninth. Okay, what do you think, my students? About the position? Yes, that's right. The position, the fifth. 
Oke okay, anak-anak teacher Eva That's very easy about naming positions ya Naming positions kamu menyatakan posisinya Pertama, kedua, ketiga, keempat, dan seterusnya Oke okay, anak-anak teacher Eva It's time for practice by yourself Do your practice on your textbook page 54 Number 1 and number 2 On your textbook, page 54, number 1 and number 2 Oke okay, anak-anak teacher Eva Demikian pembelajaran match kita untuk hari ini Before we end our study today Sebelum kita akhiri Let's pray together Lord Jesus, we say thank you for your blessing We have learned math Please bless and guide us Thank you Jesus In the name of Jesus Christ We pray to you Amen Bye bye anak-anak teacher God bless us